Greetings from Miami, Florida, and Happy New Year, Bulldogs fans. Welcome to the Orange Bowl and the college football playoff. Tonight, a pair of 12-1 and teams match up here in Miami Gardens, Florida, home of Hard Rock Stadium, which will host Georgia and Michigan this evening. The landmark, iconic Miami Orange Bowl Stadium leveled 13 years ago and more than 65 years of service to this community. In 1996, the Orange Bowl Committee took their mesh bags of Valencia's and moved to this current site in northwest Miami-Dade. Fans tonight will watch the first meeting between these two mammoth football programs in 56 years, and the cherry on top is the winner earns a spot in the national championship game on January 10th. Our DJ Shockley is on the field, and he's got Coach Kirby Smart. All right, Coach, you've had a full week here in Miami. I know it's been a lot of preparation, but what's the feel of your team right now, motion as you head in to play this big game? Ready to go play, man. I want to see that look in the eye. I see it. you got to go cut loose and play. Playing a mighty fine football team tonight, going to be a physical-ass game. A lot of talk has been about the trenches. Obviously, they have a good run game. You guys have been good in the front seven. What's the focus on the defense side of the ball against this Miami, I mean, against this Michigan offense? Knock them back. You know, knock them back. New line of scrimmage, recreate it, give them negative plays, and be aggressive. All right, let's go get a dub. Go dog. Thank you. Go dog. Losing the ICC championship definitely left a bad taste in our mouth. Losing that game gave us a wake-up call to know that we're not invincible. I feel like it built like a fight and you know, make it work hard. Refocused us and made us you know, look ourselves in the mirror and get back to the grind and get back to work. Now we have another opportunity on a bigger stage to go do what we want to do and just go win the next game. Here we go. Pick the Kobe Dane at the 50, 40, 30. He's going to take it to the house. Dinner's cooking. Touchdown. Lead route to Bowers. Oh, he caught it. And he got it to the end zone. Touchdown. And five to the house. Touchdown, Samir White. Number three, Georgia. Everything's still in front of us. We got one more shot at going to the national championship. This opportunity don't come past too often. So while we at it, we got to take advantage of elimination time. Like, you only get one more chance. Right? This is a one game season. We're not going to be the same team. We have a trip on our shoulders. If you don't win, you're going to continue to play. We just have to keep moving forward and worry about ourselves. Number two, Michigan. We're going to be even casual about this game. They're a real tough team. They play big boy ball. They got good players. They will coach. I'm just looking forward to the game and the opportunity to play. We want to be elite. League teams go play elite, and that's what we want to do. We want to start fast, play really physical. A lot of people, I watched Georgia football for a long time, and a lot of people didn't get this opportunity that we had. And now that we have it, we have the season. We're still on the same mission that we were on at the end of the year, which is to win the national championship. We have Michigan in our way. Well, the Bulldogs out of the locker room, onto the near sideline from our vantage point, through the smoke and the fire. Quite the entrance by the Bulldogs will be clad in white jerseys tonight, silver britches, red helmets. Michigan on the far sideline again from our vantage point. All in blue, the navy blue pants and jerseys and the maize yellow uh, numbers and the winged, the iconic winged helmet. Our officials are out of the Big 12 conference tonight. Our referee is Scott Campbell as Georgia's captains approach the middle of the field and we've got Jordan Davis, Zamir White, Jamari Salyer and Nicobe Dean representing the Bulldogs. Gentlemen, congratulations on reaching the college football playoff semifinal game. This is the Capital One Orange Bowl. I'm Scott Campbell, the referee. Robert Richardson will be tonight's umpire. The president of the Orange Bowl committee Mr. Jack Seiler will be presenting the Orange Bowl coin for tonight's toss. Mr. Seiler. The Capital One Orange Bowl shield is heads. The college football playoff logo is tails. Georgia, you're the visiting team. You get the honor to call the toss. Tails is the call. I'm going to flip it and let it hit the... Tails is the call. It is heads. Michigan, you've won. Defer. Michigan has won the toss. Will defer. You're getting the football. Which direction do you want to kick? Put your backs to that goal line. Georgia over here. Georgia will receive at this end. Shake hands, guys. Let's have a great playoff game. All right, there you go. That's Scott Campbell, the referee out of the Big 12 Conference. Georgia will get the opening kick. Michigan won the toss. They deferred. Let's go down to DJ Shockley on the field of Cook's Pest Control Report. Shock, what's the uh, what's the atmosphere on the sideline? I tell you, the atmosphere inside the locker room was really good. One of the things that Kirby Smart mentioned was he said, "Hey, I feel a little doubted." 
I feel like we're getting a little disrespected. So there's a little chip on the shoulder of these dogs as they come out of this locker room. And he said one thing you want to do is play a physical for 60 minutes. But they said they doubt it. They feel good. I think they're excited. But there's definitely a chip on the shoulder. All right, Shock, thanks very much. So Michigan will be delivering the kick with their Lou Groza Award winner, Jake Moody, the senior from Northville, Michigan. We'll kick it uh, in a traditional setting. It would be left to right. But in this setting, he's kicking it towards us, kind of. Back deep for Georgia is Kenny McIntosh on the goal line on the far hash. And that's the direction the ball will go. And a hang high, come down returnable. McIntosh from the 7 to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, right into the pile. And down right there at the 20-yard line. Maybe an inch or two shy of that, but Cedric Van Pran, the center, up over the football. Stetson Bennett, the quarterback. Zamir White in the backfield. First and 10 from the 20 for the Dogs. Hand off, first carry. Zamir straight up the gut, and he booms close to a first down. I think he got it, actually. Or maybe they're going to bring it back a yard shy. He got nine straight up the hash. Second one for Georgia. Just underway here in Miami in the Orange Bowl. Play fake and a throw out to A.D. Mitchell. Caught at the 36 by Mitchell. He veers inside the numbers and then back out. And they'll bring him down. A ton of, of room for A.D. to catch that. Three tight ends in the formation for Georgia. Pass play for Bennett. He's going to go left to the sideline. Reaching and catching. Brock Bowers up high. Deep in Michigan territory on the near sideline. There's the SEC player of the year doing his thing way downfield. He's been matchup problems all year long, but I'll tell you, give the Georgia offensive line credit right there. That play took a long time to develop. Stetson able to stand in the pocket, took a pretty big hit at the end of it. In the red zone, down on the far end of the field. Bennett's going to take the snap, throw it to Brock Bowers to the right time this uh, time as they set up a screen on the far hash. And Browers, uh, Bowers rather makes the catch down the line. Best 11-20. Nine on the clock here in the first quarter. Bennett under center. Zamir in the backfield. Stretch handoff. White straight ahead running. Powers into the pile and inside the 10 to the 9. And from this angle, looks like he got the first down. Well, Scott, the dogs flipped the formation there. We had trips bunched to our right. Moved everybody before the snap to the left. It created all kinds of confusion in the, uh, on the Michigan defensive front. They never got set. Trying to get on the board first here in the Orange Bowl. Quickly break the huddle. James Cook's in the backfield. Cook, play fake from Bennett. Throws it out to Bowers. Wide open left side. Catches it and into the end zone left corner. Touchdown as the dogs are on the board first. Boy, how do you leave Brock Bowers that wide open? A busted coverage from Michigan. Brock Bowers just ran a simple flat route. Nobody was close to him. Nine-yard touchdown throw from Bennett to Bowers. That's the 12th reception on touchdowns for Brock Bowers, and that is a new school record for the Bulldogs and the freshman tight end from California. Point after try, Jack Podlesny is coming up. Six to nothing, dogs. Jack Pod's kick low, but got over the crossbar. Very low. Wow. Loud. Back on the 20, first and 15. McNamara to throw. Escapes the pocket. He'll run it straight up the hash. Still on his feet. Dives forward now. Up across the 35 and maybe uh, across the 40. They're going to mark him back around the 38. For Michigan, they trail 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. Shotgun snap to McNamara. Hands off to Haskins. Hit on the left edge as he tries to turn the corner outside the numbers. And that was quite a pop out on the perimeter. Haskins fourth in the Big Ten in rushing this season. Picked up three there. Third down for McNamara. They throw. The ball was tipped, I think, coming over the line of scrimmage. He misses his target. The tight end on a crossing route. Luke Schoonmaker, a senior from Connecticut in the college football playoff. They go with an empty backfield. Snap it back. McNamara in the pocket. Looks to the left. Throws it in that direction. And it's off the hand of the intended receiver. Eric All, the tight end, incomplete into the boundaries where the ball ended up. Hook in the backfield with Stetson Bennett. We bring McConkie in motion around the quarterback. Throw it to him in the left flat with blocking. McConkie, 45. McConkie, 50, near sideline. They wrestle him out of bounds near the midfield stride. Cook deep in the backfield, seven yards back. Stetson, stretch handoff. James Cook veers right. Big hole. Cook straight down the middle. One man to beat. He's going to tackle him around the legs. Around the 30 or so. There are huge gaping holes. We did it right there. Massive hole for Cook to run through. 
down to the 29-yard line. A gain of 21. Warren McClendon with a key block on that right side. Georgia goes quickly. Pump fake Bennett. Throws it off left flat to Cook. Cook at the 30. 25. And a man goes low and cuts him down at the knees. A lot of screen passes. A lot of things out on the edges. Bennett going to take it under center. Pitch it out to Zamir. Running, uh, running wide to the right with blocking on that side. And Michigan played it well all the way to the boundary. McIntosh, the lone setback with uh, Stetson Bennett in the shotgun. Snap it back, hand it off to Kenny Mack with blocking. He'll throw it into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Kenny Mack. Threw it to A.D. Mitchell. He was wide open in the Michigan end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Boy, Kenny Mack threw that ball before A.D. Mitchell ever got out of his break. He looks like he's been playing quarterback for years at the highest level. We've seen Michigan do that on tape throughout the year. A little trickeration and the dogs pay off. Mitchell was so wide open. It was just a matter of, all right, get my hands around the football. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. He subs in periodically for McNamara. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap, hands it off, runs into the pile. Haskins tries to bounce out to his right, but he takes white shirts with him. Those silver britches wouldn't let go. Haskins going to lose a yard on the play, I think. No, he got one yard. Excuse me. Third down and five is the down and distance. Smalls on the Michigan 30. It's 14 to nothing Georgia here. Such a quick route. He was able to get the football out of his hands. Snap to McNamara in the shotgun. A play fake with time. Now I think he'll go down in a pile behind a massive humanity. Let's see if we can see who came out of the stack. It was Robert Beal that got the sack. And Jalen Carter, quarterback, went down. I couldn't see anything. All of his linemen were still in front of him. From this angle, you can't see anything. Boy, that's because we just pushed the offensive line back into the lap of McNamara. He had nowhere to go. A tremendous push right up the middle. And nice coverage in the secondary by Georgia's defense. Second down, 16. Ball's back on the 30 for Michigan. They lost six on that play. McNamara back to throw. Pass batted down back in the pocket. Quay Walker. The linebacker from Cordell zipped in from the edge. You get on their own 30. Third and extra long. They'll empty out the set, run a man in motion to the left and throw it to him in the left flat. And Cora makes the catch. But wow, what speed from N'Kobe Dean, who hustled to make the stop out on that left edge. Goes down shortly after he makes the grab. Ball's on the 28-yard line. He lost two. And it's fourth down and 18 for Michigan. Quorum came all the way across the formation there in motion to run that swing pass. N'Kobe Dean ran right there with him. Hutchinson and a nice block by Donner Washington pushing him backwards. This time Hutchinson on the right side and he jumps early. Dogs with a free play. Bennett will hang it up for Jermaine Burton. He makes the catch deep downfield on the sidelines. No, he's out of bounds. Caught, caught the football but couldn't get the feet in bounds on the Georgia sideline. Hey, fellas, I love what we've done on first down. I think we've kept them off balance. They, we got stuff going to the outside. Got tall sweeps. You got going inside. And another little nugget, the touchdown by Kenny McIntosh, they said he was 0 for 8 in practice on that, but he hit it when it count here in the game. Oh, that's good stuff, Shot. Thank you. Third down and three for the Dogs. We're on our own 32-yard line. Now they're coming at us. Play fake from Bennett. He'll pull it down and throw it, and it's caught George Pickens on a quick slant from the left side. Dogs, second down and 10 from their own 41, leading 14 to nothing. Quick snap to Bennett, throw it out to the left side. Kiaris Jackson had a block from Marcus Rosamy Jack Saint on this near sideline. Makes the catch and shakes his way up the field close to the 50. Snap back to Bennett. We're going to run it. Kenny McIntosh looking for room, just running down the line to his left. Looking for open space. There wasn't much there. They're going to tackle him on the logo. First and 10, 47-yard line of Michigan. Bennett in the pocket, being chased. Hutchinson coming after him. Bennett's going to run it. Breaks a tackle, 40, 35, cuts. Oh, what the footwork inside the 30 down to the 26. Turner had to tackle him into the secondary, and that's why Stetson Bennett's in the ballgame. No doubt about it. Michigan has been hurt throughout the year with quarterbacks running the football. Great decision there by Stetson. Had quick pressure, able to get out, then a little shake and bake. 21 yards on the run. Bennett to throw it to the left side. He's got some blockers over there. Zamir White out of the backfield, makes the catch, runs towards the Michigan sideline. Third down so far in this game. Cook in the backfield, Bennett in the shotgun. 
Quick throw, Bennett caught and then dropped and then caught again, I think, by Fitzpatrick, but was he in bounds? No, incomplete. 44-yard try, far hash kicking right. The kick is away. Pods kick is good. 44-yarder, Jack Podlesny converts to make it 17 to nothing, Georgia. In zone, so really mixing up the defensive looks we're giving Michigan. McNamara takes the snap out of the shotgun, going to run it with Corum. Oh, eat him up big, Jordan. Davis swallowed him whole behind the line of scrimmage. 340-pound body in full motion and chased down the 5'8". Shifty running back. Boy, unfair for a man that size to be able to run like that. Just the quickness is uncanny. Able to scrape down the line of scrimmage. Just pushing forward, constantly moving his legs. Michigan will change quarterbacks. They'll get McCarthy, the dual threat guy in the ball game. He tries to dual threat us out on the right side, but Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith. The yard. They snap it back to McNamara, who checks back in the ball game. Clobbered as he throws a deep ball down the far sideline. It's caught downfield in one-on-one coverage by Roman Wilson. We're in the second quarter here in the Orange Bowl. Play fake. McNamara fakes the reverse. Now he's going to go down. Too many fakes. Nicobe Dean, Nolan Smith, they've seen that play before. Well, the dogs after an SEC championship game where we couldn't get into the offensive backfield. Not the case right now. Everything we're dialing up, we're able to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Into the field. McNamara in the shotgun. Looks to his left. Looks right down the middle. Steps up, avoids the rush. Splits our defense with a uh, scramble inside the 25. I don't know how he got away from Kobe Dean, who was breathing down his neck in the pocket. Moving to our left, far into the field. McNamara to throw. Caught on the right edge by the tight end, all Eric All, the junior from Fairfield, Ohio, to get on the board for the Wolverines. There's the snap and the hold, and the kick is away, and the kick is good. Back in the shotgun with Samir White in the backfield. Snap to Stetson. He throws. Caught. Brock Bowers. Turned around, faced the line of scrimmage, caught it at the 31. They hit him right there. They've got a man shadowing Bowers to the near side from our vantage point. Empty set. Bennett in the pocket. Going to throw a deep ball to James Cook. One-on-one over the shoulder. Caught it. 30, 25, 20. They tackle him around the 15-yard line. Colson, the junior Colson, the freshman linebacker from Brentwood, Tennessee, had to catch James Cook after a long, long pass play from Bennett into the Massey-Ferguson red zone down to the 15-yard line. Dogs are up ready to snap the football. Bennett's trying to get him to hurry. Georgia going tempo here after a long gainer. Quick snap to Bennett. Goes for the end zone. They're holding. They're holding all. They were holding Jermaine Burton and no flag. Two guys sitting there looking right at it. White. Stetson claps his hands. They snap it. Bennett to throw down the middle. Caught by McConkie running across. Makes the catch at the 10. They drag him down. And that's Dax Hill just inside the far hash. Kicking in this direction to our right. Kick is away by Jack Pod. It's good into the net. Actually, I think it went over the net. That was a nice high kick from Jack Pod Lesney. Three more for the dogs. Getting late here in the second quarter. Haskins takes the carry. And will try to bounce down the line to his right. Lewis C. Gonna wrap him up first. They never got him to the turf. They're on 27. McNamara in the shotgun. Pressure from everywhere. Steps up, gets away, but not from Nolan Smith. Number four dragged him down as he tried to step up in the pocket and take off. Smith with the tackle at the, where are they going to spot him down? Around the 27 or so. Boy, just relentless pressure right there from Nolan Smith. Between the 12 and 13 to receive the snap, kick it away. Dogs come after it. Almost got it with Marcus Rosemey, Jack Saint. But Robin's punt is a long kick punt. Rosemey Jack Saint was oh so close to getting a hand on that ball as he came in uh, from the left edge trying to rush the punt and get a hand on that football. Set for the dogs. Bennett will take the snap and throw it to his left. It's complete down the line. Georgia's offensive line trying to move the pile. It's still upright. No whistles yet. They finally moved. The pile, it was... It was Kenny McIntosh in the middle of the pile. I couldn't see who caught the ball. He was just swallowed up by huge bodies over there. 
Bennett in the backfield with James Cook. Snap to Bennett, the quarterback. Steps to his right. Hangs up a long pass deep. Caught. Burton, 25. So long. 10, 5. Touchdown, Jermaine Burton. He's going to soak it up in the end zone as he stands and welcomes the cheers of the Georgia fans on this back end zone. And what a throw from Stetson Bennett. He got flushed out of the pocket and almost just heaved it up. Now here in South Florida, 27-3, Georgia landed on Michigan here with a minute 38 to go in quarter number two. Boy, what a series. You talk about the importance of the end of the first half and how critical it is to hold defensively, take some shots and opportunities if you get them offensively, but eliminate that two for one. With a hand on the ground and Channing Tindall. Here comes Tindall from the edge. McNamara gets the ball out, will throw. It is intercepted by Kendrick. Kendrick coming across the way, backtracked. Michigan thought there was holding or interference on the far sideline, wanted to go to Roman Wilson. Clemson transfer does his magic and gives the dogs the ball at the Michigan 49-yard line. He was running back this way to try to find a clear path to the end zone. He backtracked from the point where he intercepted the football, but the dogs will take it. There's still time on the clock and a lot of it with a minute 28 to go. Georgia's got it on the Michigan 49. That's the case. The ruling on the field is an interception during the return, personal foul targeting number 29 return team that 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the run number 29 has been disqualified all georgia after the penalty and will have the ball via the interception at our own 36 we're going to hand it off run it straight up the gut between the tackles and that is zamir white safety to maybe take one more shot third down and two from the 44 we'll run it again with 13 seconds to go Dogs ran it in there with Zeus once more. Oh, they work on the logo. They'll spot the ball down at midfield right at the 50. Hawkins the tackle, the free safety, and Barrett, one of their edge rushers. Five seconds to go. Four dogs will take one more snap. They fake the pitch and throw a pass, lob it over the head of Zamir White, and that will be the last play of the half as the clock has hit triple zero completion to end the quarter and the first half. But what a half it was. For the SEC runners up, Georgia 27, Michigan 3. Halfway through, first and 10, Michigan on the 25. We'll watch it from the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth. Michigan will run it on the first play. Straight into a pile of bodies, as we've seen numerous times. Haskins out of the backfield. Haskins has only rushed for 13 yards tonight. McNamara tries to escape the pocket, tries to leak out to his right, but chased down by Trayvon Walker and others. Third down at 16. McNamara claps his hands. We jump a little bit. I don't think we were off sides. He'll throw it and wrestled away by the tight end over the middle is Eric All. First down. Offside, number 88. Defense, that penalty is declined. Result of the play, first down. Now they've had a couple of gash plays. Snap to McNamara. Hand off Haskins. This time he won't get far. He runs at left tackle and left guard. Back inside the Piedmont Healthcare radio booth. Third down at seven from the 28 from Michigan. And they'll get the ball between the hash marks to Eric All, the tight end on the pass play by the Wolverines. Jay McCarthy He's trying to get in the end zone for the first time tonight. Dogs defense has other plans. McNamara throws to the end zone. Intercepted again. Kendrick in the end zone. Steps out of the back corner. That'll be a touchback for Georgia. Second pick of the game for Darian Kendrick. McNamara thought his receiver was going to continue to the back of the end zone on a corner route. His receiver just stopped. Kendrick goes there and an easy pick for him. Cook shifts from left to right behind Bennett in the shotgun. Stetson takes the snap, hands it to Cook again. Runs on an angle to the left into a crowd of bodies there. Hutchinson was one. Third down for the Dogs from our own 22. Snap to Bennett. Passing situation. Now he's going to run. Runs out of the pocket. They're chasing from behind. He'll throw it back across his body. Ooh, a dangerous throw. That just does land incomplete at the Bulldogs 40. Michigan had a guy reaching for it downfield. Second 10 from their 40. Snap back to McCarthy. Looks to his left and throws. Pass is caught. 
around the 45 or the 46 by uh, Cornelius Johnson. Michigan coming in this direction here in our viewpoint. Handed off to Corm. He fumbled the football. We fumbled it. And it looks like Georgia's going to recover it. There's still a fight for it. At the Georgia 44-yard line, the dogs try to get on that thing. It was wiggling all over the field. Dogs think they have it. Is there an official sign? First down. What do they call? First down, Georgia. Okay. <laughs> Georgia has recovered the fumble. Third turnover of the game for Michigan. As Corum came through the line, he got stripped, and the ball went bouncing to Kobe Dean. Ripped it out of his arms on our own 44. Here we go. Can we strike again? Bennett with time to throw. Looks deep. Flag down. Throws it over the middle. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. Kiaris Jackson with one hand. But it might be for naught. Two flags in the Georgia backfield. Down at the Wolverine 30. There are 30. two fouls on the play, both by the offense. Holding number 69 offense. That penalty is declined. Personal foul. Face mask number 69. Offense that penalty enforced Goodness. 15 yards from the previous spot still first down Split backfield with Milton and Cook we run Cook out to the right they tip a ball to the right side He still catches it Cook breaks a tackle at the 32 up the far sideline in front of the Michigan bench across the 40 and tackled around the 43 by Colson Stetson in the shotgun snap quick throw left to McIntosh for a screen Kenny Mack 50 Kenny Mack 45, Kenny Mack down to the Michigan 40. Mike Morris, the defensive end. And McIntosh on that nice play from Stetson Bennett picks up a scan of energy first down all the way down to the Michigan. They spot it on the 41-yard line. Great play call there by Coach Muck, and he saw the intense pressure that Michigan was putting on to Stetson Bennett. To help McIntosh go for 18. Toss to Zamir White, left side. Zamir runs through the first wave on the near sideline. Zoos, they like that. Contact at the end. Here comes the snap. Going to move to his left. A little dump pass left flat to Zeus. Gets to the sideline. That was easy pickings right there. 4-11 to go in the third quarter. Dogs in the Massey-Ferguson red zone. Toss to Cook to the right. A sweep with blocking by the tight ends. Cook slams on the brakes inside the 10. Flag comes in from the referee behind the play. And that's going to wipe out a gain that ended up inside the 10 for the Dogs and James Cook. Cook in the backfield. James going to get the carry. There was a hole at right tackle. There's another flag as Cook gets jammed up inside the 20 after a gain of maybe a couple. They throw him back. Here comes another flag. Personal foul. Chop block. Number 69 and 19. High-low combination. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Still first down. For nine. Goes under center this time. Will take it and roll to the right. Might be a broken play. Bennett just running towards the sideline. Will heave it into the seats. Third and 22 from the Wolverines' 28-yard line. Penalties have hurt us on this possession. Bennett rolls to the right, throws it towards the end zone, and broken up on the far sideline down inside the 10 by Michigan. Trying to get it to Ladd McConkey. 46-yard try near hash kicking left. Kick is away towards the upright. No good. Missed it to the left. And off the slot, just time after time. McNamara wants to throw, escapes, tackled, sack, ball is out, stripped. Did Michigan fall back on it? I think uh, they did. I think they were able to recover their fumble. They put it on the ground again. Quarterback, one back in the backfield, that's Edwards. McCarthy takes the snap, sets and throws, complete over the middle to the tight end all. We're having trouble getting him on the ground. Ball. And there's the snap to McCarthy. Looks to his left. Now going to scramble and roll. Ball's in his right hand. He pump fakes. And he runs right into Quay Walker, who knocks him back into yesterday. Holy smokes. Laid a blow at the 40-yard line. He just took the full brunt of that hit from number seven. Boy, it was textbook. Quay Walker was out in coverage and actually hiding behind the Michigan Wolverine he was guarding. Then threw him away right at the last minute and blew up McCarthy. During that timeout, walk up to a, most of the guys and even in that defensive huddle, and the one thing he said was composure. Keep our composure 15 minutes away and finish this ball game off. No more chippiness. He didn't want nothing. Nobody getting thrown out of his ball game, but he said the number one thing is stay composed. Good advice, Shock. Thank you very much. 27-3 to 3 with 15 minutes remaining. 
for Michigan now on the Georgia 41. McCarthy chased out of the pocket. Nolan Smith going to chase him. Oh, couldn't get his legs. Stays upright, and he throws it. Almost intercepted out of bounds on the left end of the field. He just threw the pass. Dan Jackson was diving as he was running out of space. Snap to McCarthy. Here comes pressure. He fires across the field. Too high. Incomplete. Over Mike Sainra still, the junior receiver, who's 5'10". He needed to be about 7'10 to catch that ball. Motion. Brock Powers. Now he sets up in the backfield. And Bennett Hole, he eludes Hinton, the rusher, and rolls out to his left and tries to scramble for the first down. I think he got it as he crosses the 50 and was able to take a jab step to the right and roll to the left and elude the pass rush and left Hinton grabbing it air. Boy, what an athletic move right there. Justin Schaefer had, was over Hinton. Hinton got inside of him with a, just a little inside move, but pays off. On the Michigan 48, keep it on the ground, run it. Power football between the tackles, offensive line, moving blue shirts back. And that's Samir White on a scrimmage for Georgia. Cook's in the backfield with Bennett, who's in the shotgun. Snap to Bennett, want to throw on third and short. Hook it up for Cook, he's wide open, caught, 21, 15, 10, hops into the end zone, touchdown, James Cook. A homecoming for Cook, who's from South Florida. Touchdown, dogs. What's that I hear? Hammer and nail and coffin. 33 to 3. Dogs lead it. It was around him at all. Stetson Bennett able to go find him. And you're right. Send this one home. Stetson got clobbered on the delivery, but was still able to deliver the mailman appropriately enough to James Cook. Over 300 yards passing tonight. Point after try, jackpot Leslie splits the pipes. It's good. Yep. But, boy, they ran into a buzzsaw tonight. J.J. McCarthy, the freshman in at quarterback, throws it into the backfield to his right to Corum, who makes the catch around the 18. Three to the left, excuse me. Now McCarthy takes the snap, and he gets away from Walker, who had him wrapped up. Now McCarthy off and running. McCarthy in front of the Georgia bench, crosses midfield and out of bounds. Here comes a flag and another flag. Must be a late hit over and all that crowd couldn't see the end of the play. The result of the play was a line the game was made. After the play was over, personal foul, illegal blindside block. Number two, offense, 15-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. It will still be first and ten. Out on that side. They work on the near hash from our vantage point. Snap back in the shotgun. McCarthy moves to his right. Throws the ball, same spot. And this time, flag down, but pass is caught, I think. Yeah, he caught it anyway, and there's a flag, two flags on the play. Way. Pass interference, number seven. Defense, that penalty is declined. First down. Let's see if he actually Ruling caught the Ruling on the field the is a catch for a first down. The previous play is under further review. Quarterback Quorum to his left. McCarthy snapping the shotgun, running for his life to the right. N'Kobe takes a swipe at his legs. And misses. He throws it into the end zone, and it is incomplete in the back corner. McCarthy in the shotgun. Man in motion to the far side. They throw it to him. Edwards got to make an open field tackle. We miss it, but we clobber him at the five. Kendrick had Dan Jackson's back. Jackson missed the open field tackle around the 10, but Darion Kendrick drilled him out of bounds on the far side, at least in this format. Snap back to Bennett. Going to hand it off. We'll run it between the tackles again. And that's Kendall again. Milton working his way for positive yards. Indeed it is. Snap to Bennett. And we'll toss it to Kenny McIntosh on a sweep to the left. He's looking for space. Bounces out towards the sideline. 34-3. Michigan from the 50. They'll throw. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Chaz Chambliss just blew up. Blake Corum right in front of our bench. Corum's going to have to check out of the ball game. He's trying to shake it off as he runs to the Michigan sideline. Wouldn't you know it? That's 53 yards on the other side of the field. He's got to make that jaunt before he can go down on a knee or anything. But, man, did he get clobbered. The result of the play is an incomplete pass. Personal foul. Targeting. Oh, Defense. Using the crown of the helmet. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Snap to McCarthy. Going to hang one up near sideline. Got a man wide open. He beat Daniel easily, and that's a touchdown 
for uh, Entrell Anthony, the freshman receiver, running on the Georgia sideline. Had his man beat by about seven or eight yards, it looked like, to successfully do so. Michigan's going to go for two here. And they're going to run it into the end zone with Henning. A sweep to the left. And they get the two. Played very, very well tonight for Georgia. Bennett under center. He'll hand it off to Dejon Edwards. Big hole, Dejon. Dejon at midfield. They're trying to tackle him from behind. He was trying to stiff arm. And Edwards just went right up the gut. All the way down to the Michigan 35-yard line for a big scan of energy first down here late in the ballgame. Did Ajabo even play tonight? I don't even recall seeing him. I uh, certainly didn't call his name. Here we go on a reverse to Lad McConkey sweeping around to the near side. Hit it to 24. As he hits the ground, the ball comes squirting out, but he was down. Gray, the cornerback, 21. In the shotgun, Bennett. Going to take the snap, toss it to Edwards to his left. Stay in bounds, Dejan. He goes all the way there. They don't get him on the turf. I thought he was going down behind the line at the 25. He keeps his feet and drives forward. Take the Orange Bowl trophy. Go get ready for Alabama in the national championship game. Ball's on the uh, 16-yard line. Fourth and two. 22 seconds to go. 20 seconds. Dogs still kind of in that uh, muddle huddle, and now they're going to call time. And uh, the offense is going to walk over to the Georgia sideline. Dogs on the 16 of Michigan. Game well in hand. Handed off to Milton. He cuts across at center. Gets the first down. Down to the 11-yard line. He got five, and that's the ball game. The final 10 seconds will run off the clock. Georgia's players congratulate one another, and the Dogs have won the Orange Bowl and won the playoff semifinal and will head to the national championship game for the second time. And look at the rematch. It's the same one it was the first time. Georgia and Alabama will meet in Indianapolis, Indiana on January 10th for college football's big prize. Here comes the stage. The trophy presentation is on the way. We'll step aside and have it for you after this. Dogs win the Orange Bowl and advance to the national championship. 34-11 over Michigan on the Bulldogs sports. All night as far as a sack. Now, they did hit him a few times, but never got him to the turf. Uh, had very few t uh, tackles for loss. Georgia's offensive line had a, a fine ball game tonight. College football. Congratulations to Michigan. Wolverines had a wonderful season. But tonight in this stadium, my friends, it was time once again to let the big dogs eat. And they certainly did. To make the first presentation tonight, please welcome the president and chair of the Orange Bowl Committee, Mr. Jack Seiler. Jack, you make the presentation. Well, thank you. And on behalf of the Orange Bowl Committee, the Capital One Orange Bowl, and the college football playoff, congratulations to both these outstanding institutions on an incredible season. How about a round of applause for both teams tonight? And now on behalf of the playoff semifinal at the Capital One Orange Bowl, I am pleased to present head coach Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs with our trophy tonight. Coach, congratulations. Kirby, the red and black confetti is flying. The oranges are here. Coming off of the last few weeks and what you guys had to face, what was it that led to such a focused and, and brilliant and dominant performance tonight? It's one word for us, connection. Our kids know if we stay connected, we're really hard to beat. And I thought the focus and concentration over the last couple weeks of practice, all our guys did was work. And when you're connected, we know we're much better together. What was an example of that connection that you saw in the early part of the game when you really took control? Well, a lot of perimeter blocking. You know, I thought our wideouts made some plays down the field. I thought our offensive line did a tremendous job. But when you're selfless outside and your defensive line, look at the guys up front that ate blocks so Nakobe, Quay, Chaney could make plays. I thought our front controlled the line of scrimmage. I thought our offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage. That's a total team effort. In the playoff era, you're taking a team to the championship game for the second time. A familiar foe awaits. What's the significance of getting back to the title game and having another shot at Alabama? Well, when you get back to the title game, it's always a big game, right, regardless of who you're going to play. 
Uh, that's one of our SEC foes. We think we play in the greatest conference in the world. We got an opportunity to go play a really good football team in Indianapolis. And we got all these people over here behind us. And we know they're going to be in Indy with us. So we're bringing all the Dog Nation with us. Kirby, congratulations. Terrific performance. Kirby Smart, head coach of the Dogs, champions of the Capital One Orange Bowl. Now, let's honor our players of the game. First, the Capital One Orange Bowl offensive player of the game, the quarterback of the Dogs, Stetson Bennett. Stetson, over 300 yards, terrific offensive performance. After what you guys had to deal with the last few weeks and the questions that you faced and handled, what's the significance of getting Georgia to a national championship game for you? You know, we don't, we don't worry about that in our locker room. Um, each and every day, these guys come out there and they work their butts off. Um, we knew we were better than what we showed last game. Um, and we just came and worked every single day. And I love these dudes, man. God, I love them. God, what a win. What a win. Go dogs. What was your... What was your favorite moment of this game tonight? Um, probably when Cook slipped that linebacker and took it for about 40. <laughs> now, before we started here, you almost threw all of the oranges out in the crowd. I'm giving you permission now. Chuck, you've completed everything else tonight. You might as well complete a few more. Hey, let's bring in Kirby. Save a few for Darian Kendrick. Our defensive player of the game, Darian Kendrick, had a couple interceptions tonight. Darian, you guys did not want Michigan to get in the end zone. They got a late one. What was so important about establishing your will and keeping them out until the waning stages of the game? I just say just sticking together. We always talk about connection each and every day. And it's a brotherhood. They brought me in when I came in, and they never gave up on me, and so I worked for them. You had the opportunity to play at Clemson. Now you're playing at Georgia. Another opportunity to, to go and play in a national championship game. What does that mean to you? Throw him away. Throw him to the fans. I just say he put me in. A, he put me in this position to win, and I just I just get all the grace to him, and then just play for my teammate. The University of Georgia gave me a chance, and I'm gonna give him all I got. You intercepted a couple of passes tonight. Go ahead and throw some oranges out here. Don't hurt anybody. Darian Kendrick, the defensive player of the game. Georgia on the way to the national championship game. And if you want an orange, Chris, you better get it fast because they are going in a hurry. From the Orange Bowl, almost New Year's, and it's going to come in as a happy one in the Peach State as the Dogs win the Orange 34-11 to on the Bulldogs Sports Network.